The world is like a beach, and you are a grain of sand. As a grain of sand, you could easily blend into the stretch of beach you were born on and be content with the familiar shells and tides. But just imagine for a moment being swept up by the ocean currents and finding yourself on an entirely different part of the beach. Living in Asia is very much like finding yourself on that new part of the beach. Please listen and recognize what I'm about to tell you. These words are not for everyone to hear, but are for you to understand. Year after year, mental health problems increase and many seek the light of Asia to help them through. Many fall prey to the typical dream of coming to Asia, embarking on a journey of spirituality, drugs, and ending up in terrible places. You see, this trend is seen as a cool thing to do, but mental health is different from mental spirituality. Indonesia is a hotspot for this, but dealing with mental health problems is not a quick fix in Asia. The Western world is not perfect, but there is support out there and it's a lot stronger than in Asia. This is in no way an attack on drugs. I suspect there may be some pure drugs that can stop addiction and depression, but the drugs available to you are not pure. As Carl Jung said, be wary of unearned wisdom. Addiction is an interesting topic. We are all addicted to one thing or another, YouTube, food, music, sex, porn, coffee, alcohol. What is your addiction? Many men enjoy the pleasure of life, but when does it get too much? I know just as you do how beautiful and attractive the ladies are. Many ladies know how to hack into the raw primal urges of a man, but remember, even too much chocolate can be poisonous. Living abroad, most expats master the art of simplicity and managing wealth. It's important to live simply. This doesn't mean live a boring life, but a life without the clutter. If you are a person of wealth, hide it well. The term stealth wealth has popped up a lot recently in many financial circles. This is the ability to downplay what you have. Many enjoy the power money gives. Money makes you feel good, and you can impress most strangers with your stacks of cash, but even the biggest dragon cannot protect a house full of diamonds and gold if it is known to the public. Once you have your money in order, it's time to turn your attention to systems. Systems are needed to wake up early, keep your body strong and your mind clear. I know that sometimes you sit back and think about how the universe works. Is there a power working in the background that we can't see? But what we do know is that your perception creates your reality. Could it be that you perceive many of the women you encounter as scammers due to a pre-existing belief? Is it possible that your ego is holding onto this viewpoint, unwilling to be contradicted, and thus your subconscious places you in situations that will achieve this self-fulfilling prophecy? This is a silly example, I know, so feel free to swap the perception with your perception. If you struggle with life after you move, remember the golden rules. Keep life simple. We as humans make it complex. Life is simple. 
Remind yourself what's important. The respect and love you have for yourself. You are divine and you come from the divine source. Focus on the one thing you wish to change. Dive deep. Find the real problem. Break down the problem. Understand the root. But more importantly, understand yourself. Remember the real you. The real you behind the safeguard of your filter. The raw nature of you and why you have chosen this path.